Hey Mitch, this is uh, Coach V with your Coach V Tennis video tip. And I'm going to show you the difference in your stroke between on the left here, let's circle it real quick, ta da! On the left there versus on the right here. And the one on the right is after I gave you the information and you practice the three types of timing. The one on the left is the raw video of you first hitting and uh, without any tips or information. So, I kind of paused it at the point of contact and I'm going to show you the difference between these two. And this is just going with breaking down how everything falls apart. Alright, so here you go confident and handsome on the right uh, a little confused and uh, staring into a bliss on the left that's just a joke but uh, here we go so we're gonna go in slow motion first off look how fast you take back boom wait not even now look you got a nice little L shape right there on the right the rackets all the way back and it's ready to go and now you also got your hand out in front over here on the right side if you look over here on the right side there goes the L shape in the hand you got your left arm out in front pointing at the ball tracking it getting ready to hopefully throw it around and look over here on the left this is without any information your racket's not back yet now the main thing you're gonna see is this frame by frame see with the racket back and loaded and ready to go you're now free to make a step into the ball because you're gonna have plenty of time to hit it because the racket's ready right over here over here the racket's not ready over on the left the racket is not ready not like the right anyway and you're stepping in at the same time. So, this step here, let's look at this. That step right here with the left with the left foot on the left side. Right? It's taking away time and look at that ball. That ball is right up coming right up at your face. Look at that. Right up at you. And the racket's not even fully back. Look. As the ball's coming, you're doing some weird flip thing over here with your hand. It's not weird, but it's missed. It's too late. So you get the racket back, right? And now the ball's bouncing and it's coming up at you fast. And your racket over here on the left side is not all the way back and ready. So what happens is you're forced to snap and go early. Whereas now these two frames look very familiar. But this one here, if you look... The ball's not out in front on the left. The ball's making it to the side. Remember I was showing you how like the ball would push you back if you time it late or catch the ball too late on your side? Uh, when I had you push me and lean your weight into it. Here, since everything was all on the right, since everything was all prepared, it even got a good nice little L shape over there on the right side. Look too, and you still got the right L shape. Whereas here, you're forced to slap and you have less of an L shape because you have to muscle it basically so let's look what happens and then we go next frame boom the ball meets you early at the point of contact here and, and you gotta muscle it so much that your racket face is pointing down because now you gotta tighten up and try to add spin look at that right there you can see the racket face pointing down whereas this one this racket face is still flat and open and that's after the information I gave you and um, now look at this here the ball trajectory is going down and look at that you got a nice clean open face square hit and you don't really need to look at the ball whereas here you're reacting so poorly and see so you're trying to muscle it 
And when you try to muscle it, you're coming over the top of the ball, causing the ball to go down on the left side. But here on the right side, since your setup was so nice and early, you can actually catch the ball and push it forward more. See that? And then come around and add spin. And if you, I don't know if you can tell, but you notice how this racket face is pointing down and there goes the edge, right? You can still see some of the racket face beginning to turn over there in the shadow. Let's look at it closely. See, look, right there, you can still see some of the open racket face. Let me draw a little picture for it so you can see it. Let's draw a white mark. So right around here, take a look. On the right-hand side, you can still see an open racket face. And if we look at the hand over here on the left-hand side, the old video, the first video without any... Uh, coaching, you can tell right there that the racket face is pointing straight down. And and this look at another thing here. Let's look at the finish. Here on the finish of the swing, you got your whole back. Let me use red ink because it's easier to see. You can see your whole back right here. You can see your hip and your butt, whereas this one here, you only got a little flat butt right there, and you can't see the whole butt, and you're only seeing some part of the abs. Now, if this was a fitness competition, and you had to show off your back, you just failed on the left because the judges can't see all of your back, whereas the judges on the right definitely pass the bodybuilder on the right because he can, they can see all of the back and the shape of the butt and all those muscles. Uh, so that's something that's very important because you had such an early take back. Look at how soon you get the racket ready. Here we go, ready and play. Racket back is early, you got plenty of time, and you can throw your whole body into the shot, and then your whole body goes forward into the ball. Whereas this one here, the ball's pushing you back some. You can't get all the way around, and you can't get all of your body weight, so you're forced to muscle. And the tighter you have it, the less, the less speed you're going to have on the swing. The less speed you have on the swing, the less control you're going to have. And this is your final little uh, bit of cross video. I am going to overlay it. Let's rewind. And take a look. So here you are. Pretty much in the same spot. And play. Let's look at the difference. Boom. Look at how early you got ready in the second video. After the coaching, you got ready that much earlier. And your body's moving forward earlier. Now look right there. The contact points are different. In the first one, you see the ball make it past you here. But since you got ready earlier, you can catch the ball earlier and hit a better, cleaner shot. Boom. And look, you come forward into the court and hit a great shot. Whereas in the old video, you stood behind the baseline. Now, I overlaid it, but you got to remember the camera was still in the same spot. So, even here, you're behind the baseline, whereas here, you're being a more aggressive. Alright, hopefully getting the racket back in time does make a huge difference on the forehand shot. Because when you hit a forehand, let's rewind this, all forehands, when they're hit, boom, automatically late. 
because there goes the center of the body. The racket and the arm is behind the body. You must rotate the body early to catch it out in front. Or, over here on the left, right, there goes the center of the body. Or, boom, the ball makes it past the center of the body and it's going to force you back over there on the left. Hopefully that helps. And after this video lesson, uh, the complete video series is right after this.